contented is one of the challenges we are having in this world today. We are not contented with what we have. You have a car, you say the car is not enough. Your friend have a bigger car than the one you have. You have a house, you say your house is not big enough. Your friend have a bigger house. You have two houses, you said no, your friend have two three houses. You have two cars, you say no, your friend have four cars. You find that that your problem, you are increasing your problem every day by yourself. Some of us are causing problems to ourselves. We are the cause of our problem. We are not satisfied with what we have. We are always after what people have, not what we have. That mindset is really common to us, we Africans. We should stop wasting our time for unnecessary things. You have a house. You have a car. You should be okay. You should be satisfied with that. Why fighting to have more, have more, have more, have more, and you will not stop. You will continue looking for more because that mindset of heaviness, the mindset of not be satisfied is already there. You are not always satisfied. You always see things that you have not achieved. Your mind is always after what you have not achieved, what you have not achieved, what you have not achieved. We should start, we should stop every people because you have a better life than these people you are heavy. Some of them, they don't have a better home. They don't have happy home. Some of them have problems. Some of them, they, they can't even sleep. But you are not like them. You have a better life. You have a comfort home. There are even every you of which you don't know. We should be careful. How we every people. We should be careful how we how we start looking after people, people, people property, people wealth, people achievements. You are not even looking after what you have. Those people they are they are jealous of what you have, but you are not happy. You are not still happy. You are jealous of these people, whereas they are jealous of what you have. No matter what, you are a rich person. You are a great person. You have a bright future. Don't look down on yourself. Don't see yourself as a failure. Don't see yourself as if you are, you, you, you are not among the rich people. You are a rich person. You are the one that is reducing yourself. You are an important person in the society, the whole world. There is a space you are occupying in this world. Without you, the world will not complete. You are important to us. Before even God Almighty, you are important to Him. Don't see yourself as if you are a failure. You are not a failure. Don't envy people. Stop envy people. Stop looking after what people have achieved in life. And you have not achieved them. My dear, you have a great future. Don't see yourself as if you cannot get to that place. Even by the time you get there, you will find more, you will find life more difficult. You should live life easy for you to have an easier life. Don't stop pursuing after things. The new car, the new house, the new model thing, the things, this, this. No, you don't need it. All you need is comfort. It's what is what matters in life. I've, I, I, it's a pity to those who are even if who are into society by doing all sorts of even doing all kind of things. I pity these people. I pity them. They have eyes, but they can't see. As Jesus Christ said, Jesus Christ said, "You people have eyes, but you can't see." Some of us have eyes, but we can't see because if you can see clearly, you will find out that the thing you are pursuing, you are even pursuing problem to your, you are inviting problem to yourself. You are inviting more problems to yourself because you think you are you you think you want you want to achieve this, you want to achieve this. All those things you are achieving, you are trying to invite more problems to yourself. Try and be contented with what you have. 
Stop envy the evil doers, the evil ones. The evil doers, these are the people they are into all kind of art of stealing, killing. All different power, diabolic things, all the name of say they want to have this, they want to they want they want to have the money. And you are having these people. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 37 that the evil doers they will fade away. They will fade away. Yes, and it's true. The Bible has said it. And it's clear. The evil doer will fade away. I, do you want to be fade away? Stop involving yourself in all kinds of things that will make you to fade away in life. Look yourself as the best. As for me, I never look down on myself. I never, I, I never limit myself. I always see myself as the best in life. Even this message I'm giving to you right now, not everybody that needs it. Some people don't even need it. Because some people have already told the same. Some people are already doing what I'm saying right now. I'm saying, I'm preaching this message to those that need it. I thank God sometimes, even in my Instagram, sometimes people are commenting on my, on, on my message. That's encouraging me that someone's life has changed. The message must not be necessary to everybody. But if one soul can change through this message, glory be to God. I will be so much impressed. It must not necessary that everybody must, must listen to your message. But some, one person, one soul will listen to the message. That make me, me, make me comfort, make me happy that I have reached to someone even when I'm not there with the person. My message I have reached to someone. That is the joy I'm having. We should stop every people. We should be contented for you not to have problem in your life. Above all, everything that you are even fighting for, they are not yours. As I, as, as I used to say before, they are not yours. We should be careful. Try and stop every people and live a life that will make you sleep comfort, have peace of mind, and have a happy home. God bless you as you're listening.